Last year, OpenAI introduced JSON mode that improves model reliability for generating valid JSON outputs. However, it does not guarantee that the model's response will conform to a particular schema. A few days ago, OpenAI introduced Structured Outputs in the API, a new feature designed to ensure model-generated outputs will exactly match JSON schemas provided by developers. Developers have long been working around the limitations of LLMs in this area via prompting. Structured Outputs solves this problem by constraining OpenAI models to match developer-supplied schemas. This plot compares the performance of OpenAI models that try to generate structured output through prompting alone and those that generate structured output through the newly added feature. As you can see, the models using prompting alone have reached a score of not higher than 40%, while the models using structured outputs have reached 100%. Langchain has updated its libraries to add this new feature when using OpenAI models. To ensure structured outputs, one needs to set strict to true when binding tools to LLMs. This video will show how to generate structured outputs in Langchain. The source code of this video can be reached by going to apps.compuflare.com and searching for the pipeline for generating structured output using the OpenAI chat model. We'll start this video by importing the OpenAI API key. To see how this works, we are using the load.nv library to read the .nv file, which is a hidden file in the same folder where my notebook is. So for example, let's see what is the content of this nv2. So as you can see, it has a test API key that equals some string. And if I load that file and read the content of the test API key, you can see that it is equal to the right-hand side of that variable inside the nv2 file. So the API key in my case is stored in the thenv, and this is a secure way to not expose the actual API key in the source code. Having imported the API key, we use the chat OpenAI model to create our chat model, the large language model with these parameters. And the API key is here. Let's run that, and also let's invoke the LLM and make sure it runs. Then, these are the functions that we would like to call. And the function arguments enforce the output structure. So, first, we define two functions, the add and the multiply. The functions return certain operations. However, the output structure is enforced by their arguments in the parentheses. So here we define the tools list to be the two functions. And then we bind the tools to the LLM. So here are the tools with these functions, and then we set the strict equal true as instructed in the Langchain documentation. Then we define this query. What is 3 times 12, and also what is 11 plus 49? Then we invoke the LLM with tools. Since we have set the strict equal true, the output of this call will be a structured output. So it will extract the numbers in the query and put them into a certain structured format. Let's now take a look at the AI message tool calls. If you're enjoying this video, please support us by subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up.
Don't forget to share this video with your friends. It means a lot to us. So here are the two tools that we have called. In the first one, the name is multiply, and in the second one, the name is add, and in both cases, the arguments are the structured outputs that are guaranteed following OpenAI JSON schema. To reach the structured outputs, we need to use the arguments key as the dictionary. And here are the two structured outputs. As you can see, the structure is enforced by the arguments of the function, the ones that are in the parentheses. To see how then we can use the functions and use this structure output to get the final result, we will need to directly call the functions with the given structured output, so we will give the structured output as the argument of the function. Seems like I have a typo in the function. Let's copy the function name. and paste it here. And then yes, so here, the multiplication of 3 and 12 is 36. Next, we define a dictionary of selected tools. We use the name of the function as their keys for simplicity, And then we use the name of the tool calls to determine which tool is called by OpenAI. So, as you can see for this first one, the tool call name is multiply. And then we use that name as a key to retrieve the function from the dictionary. And if we look at the selected tool, we can see that it is the function that we defined earlier in the notebook. Okay, let's now show how the selected tool can be invoked using the structured output to get the result that runs the function and get its output. So we need the arguments. And here is the result. So we put this into a loop so that all the tool calls and their structured output are fed back into the appropriate functions and the results are printed out. So as you can see, for this query, we got two function calls. Now let's change the query so that we only have one function call. What is the addition of two numbers 34 and let's say 21? And if I run this, then the structural output would be 34 and 21. And if we invoke the multiply function, it will multiply them. But the function name should have been add and not multiply. So as you can see, the function name is add, which means if we want to get the appropriate answer, we will need to call the appropriate function, which is add. And we get a 55. 
So here, if we run this selected tool, the selected tool is add, and the output is 55. As you can see it here, As a second example, we are going to build a math tutor for that. We will be using the Pydantic base model to enforce the output structures. So we will have a step, which consists of two structured strings. One is an explanation of that step, and another is the output. And then we have the math response structure, which consists of a list of the steps class and also the final answer in the form of a string. Then we define the tools to be the math response, and we bind those tools to the LLM, so we define LLM math. This time, we set the strict equal to false, but still, the structured output will be generated as instructed by the fields of the classes. This time, the query is to solve this math problem, and then we will invoke the LLM with math, And if you look at the tool calls, you can see that the name is the math response, which is the tool name. And then the arguments are steps, which are the steps in the class, and the final answer as we instructed it. Now we loop over all the steps in the response, and we print out the explanations, which is a string, as described in this structured output. Here are steps one, two, three, and four. And here is the final answer, which is again, a string in the structured output. If you're enjoying this video, please support us by subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. It means a lot to us.